Last week we painted with coffee and tea and I quickly wanted to show you the final work I created out of this exercise. I am really excited about this piece. I wanted to try this for a long time now. As I am not only a painter but also a collage artist, it felt natural to me to approach painting a bit differently. By assembling and sewing different pieces to create one work of art, I feel a lot of freedom to experiment during the painting process without any worry. It is a very different experience than the freedom of a blank canvas that is already stretched to a certain size. Both ways have a different workflow and problem-solving aspect to it, and I love both experiences. If you are interested, this artwork is for sale right now and you can find it in my online shop which is linked in the description of this video down below. Now let's dive into the second natural art exercise. Today we are going to create texture rubbings, which I think are extremely beautiful. I collected different kinds of papers and fabrics to create the rubbings on. I have simple white paper, but also pieces of green colored softer paper, a piece of cotton that I have dyed myself with onion skins to get that lovely rose color and also pieces of canvas that already have some paint stains on them. I like to do texture rubbings with a graphite stick or a piece of charcoal, but you can also use crayons for example. If you can, try out a variety of combinations of undergrounds and materials to find the combination that you personally like the best. Now walk through your home and look at it with different eyes. There are so many natural textures to discover. Maybe you have a wooden or stone tiled floor. Maybe you have walls with an interesting texture. What does the outside wall of your home look and feel like? Do you have textured glass somewhere? Can you take rubbings of the leaves of plants in your house? And maybe you have some textured ceramics in your home. When you are creating a rubbing, do it really mindfully. Notice that every surface has a different feel to it. Touch it with your hand, maybe feel it with your eyes closed before creating the texture rubbing. Often the texture you just felt is a lovely surprise when visualized. Notice that every surface and every different kind of material that you use creates a different sound when you create the rubbing. Creating texture rubbings is a meditative sensory experience in so many ways. Not only does it create beautiful visuals, it connects you to your surroundings also through touch and through sound. I think sound is a big one in this experience, that is why I kept the music in this video to a minimum. Maybe you discover a sound that you find particularly soothing. When you are done with the textures inside your home, 
Let's take it a step further and get outside to find more interesting surfaces. I don't know what it is exactly, but as long as I can remember, touching and feeling natural textures has always been really soothing to me. I fall into the category of highly sensitive people, and whenever I get overwhelmed, surrounding myself with natural textures and touching them helps me to calm down and find my way back to feeling better again. I hope that you enjoyed this exercise and I would really love to see what you have created. So if you share it on Instagram, please tag me so I can see your beautiful work. Have a lovely day and I'll see you next week for another natural art exercise.